All right, welcome back to the second video of the Blockly Minecraft modding series. And in this video, we're just going to talk about some basic concepts when it comes to programming. What does it even does it even mean to program or be a programmer, right? And what you know, all the different languages out there. There's so much um, information about it. So let's just go ahead and break down some just fundamental concepts that we all should understand when it comes to programming. So. Whenever you create programs, regardless of whether you're using, you know, JavaScript or Python or Java or C++ or all those crazy languages, right? Every place that you program needs an environment or a place to create those programs, right? Um, without that, you really can't create a program. So you need what's known as an integrated development environment to essentially run programs. Now this right here is the integrated development environment for Blockly. And this is where you know you create your code and everything like that. Um, inside of this integrated development environment, you have many different um, code drag and drop things here that you can use, create, and mess with to essentially create and mod your stuff. Um, with that also being said, if you want to look at anything inside of JavaScript, which we'll eventually be transitioning to, you can always click this JS button here, and it'll show you the JavaScript for the exact same mod that you created. And keep in mind that this does use a very specific API, but we don't have to talk all about that right now. But let's go ahead and after we've done this and created you know, our very first mod, um, let's talk about the four different data types that we'll be using a lot in this course. So the very first one, and we used it in the last mod, was a string. A string is a sequence of characters encapsulated by quotation marks. And this would be an example of that data type string inside of Blockly. Most of the time this is used for names, and this is also used for containing information. Um, in actual programming, this could be an email, it could be a, a customer's name, it could be you know, a whole bunch of different things, but this in general is the data type of a string and is used a ton in programming. The second data type that we'll be looking at is the idea of an int value. An int value stands for integer, which is whole numbers and their opposites. And that can be found right here under the math tab, which has the entire Blockly math library. So this could be, you know, 10, because you can have $10, but this could also be negative 10, because you can owe someone ten dollars or eleven dollars in this case let's change back to ten cool so that's the second data type that we'll be talking a lot about now the third data type which is very important is going to be the idea of a boolean a boolean is something that can only take the value of two different arguments in this case it's either true or false it can't be anything else only true or false nothing else so it can't be you know in the middle right like a maybe right whereas the numbers over here Right, they can take anything between zero, they can take one, they can take two, they can take three, they can take a ton of different values. But if this could only take zero or one as a data type, then this would also be a Boolean. So something to keep in mind, Boolean only takes two arguments and in most cases are true or false. And then the last data type is going to be nil or null. And that stands for non-existent. And you will find nil or null right here underneath the logic tab. Now, what is the difference between something being non-existent and something having zero value? Let me give you an example. In this room right here, and you know, I know you can't see around, but I'm the only person in here, I would say that there are no females in this room because there are no females in this room, right? So the amount of females in this room is zero. However, I would say there are null unicorns. The difference being that unicorns don't exist as far as we know on the planet Earth. Thus, if I asked you to find the value of that, it would return non-existent because it simply does not exist. Whereas females do exist in our universe, they just are none in this room. And that is the difference between nil and null and um, an int value having zero. It's a very important distinction and I just wanted to bring it up. So 
Anyways, these are fundamental data types. Data types um, are information that your computer can read or understand, and you have to talk in data types to your computer in order for your computer to understand what you are saying. Now, there are many, many, many more data types other than this, but I just wanted to give you the basic ones so we can go ahead and start using them inside of the Blockly programming system. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns on these four data types, please let me know, and I will see you in the next one.